you see a face here <clears throat> representing face. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Expectations are high. He will use it to promote his America First policy. And just last week, he made good on his promise about trade, slapping big tariffs on solar cells made by Chinese companies. Now, Americans doing business in China say that move could backfire. Solar panel producers in the U.S. and Europe have long complained of unfair Chinese competition. So it should have come as no surprise when U.S. President Donald Trump targeted imported photovoltaic products when he imposed his very first import tariffs. I am taking action to impose safeguard tariffs on imported residential washing machines and all solar products. My administration is committed to defending American companies and they've been very badly hurt. The 30% tariffs were lower than U.S. producers had been calling for. But now, U.S. businessmen in China warn that Beijing is set to strike back. Uh, if that does go forward, well, I have been told by certain officials that, yes, definitely there will be retaliation. And they say there's little understanding in China for the U.S. position. Beijing believes the Americans simply want to undercut their competitive advantage. One of the difficulties that our members find and that we find in terms of meetings with our, our Chinese interlocutors, Chinese government officials and others, is a, an unwillingness to acknowledge that their market is less open than ours to begin with. And with Washington preparing to announce the results of an investigation into whether China pressures companies to hand over technology, there could be trouble ahead when it comes to dealing with China. Mm -hmm. Right, it's back to Phil now and snacks at the ready because the biggest TV fest, aside from the State of the Union address, of course, <laughs> is just around the corner. It's the Super Bowl. Thank you so much, uh, Hannah. Yes, America's biggest sports show, the Super Bowl, takes place in Minnesota on Sunday. As ever, the hype surrounding uh, American football's uh, finale is high. With the New England Patriots and the Philadelphia Eagles in town, fans and media are gearing up for an unforgettable showdown. As the reigning Super Bowl champions, the New England Patriots know how to make an entrance. This group of players, led by star quarterback Tom Brady, are the favorites to retain their crown on Sunday. The five Vince Lombardi trophies on the plane's tail wing tell the story of their success. After the arrival, it was time for some hype for the media, even if Brady was trying to keep things grounded. It's going to be a tough one. Brady's going for his sixth Super Bowl title, but he has an injured throwing hand to contend with. I know you've been rehabbing the hand, so I got to challenge you to the thumb war. We, 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 we. How's that? That's the left? That's my left. That's the left? It's, it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. In contrast, Eagles quarterback Nick Foles has never been in a Super Bowl. He wasn't even supposed to be in this one, but Philadelphia's previous starter, Carson Wentz, is out injured. I'm really just enjoying the moment. I'm grateful for the moment. Uh, the future can take care of itself because right now we got a lot going on and I have a lot of responsibility and I can't wait. And he's not the only one. The Super Bowl is more than just a football game with its... They've even set up a zip line over the freezing Mississippi River. But unlike these thrill seekers, only one team will be riding high come Sunday night. It was awesome! Now, here's a question. What is 10 meters tall? Took 10 days to build and has earned the name Big Frozen. Romania's biggest ever snowman, of course. A teenagers in Banshu village built the record-breaking snowman with snow cleared from local roads. Big Frozen's become a huge hit with the locals, and by the looks of it, has really melted some hearts. Now, as a reminder of our top stories at this hour, Kenya's opposition leader, Rana Odinga, has staged a mock inauguration in the capital of Nairobi. The symbolic ceremony challenged a president of Uru Kenyatta's government, which has reacted by outlawing Odinga's national resistance movement.
And US President uh, Donald Trump is preparing to deliver his first ever State of the Union address. He'll uh, talk about a robust economy and push for congressional action on immigration. DW will carry uh, that address live starting at 2 in the morning UTC. Uh, that's it, you're up to date. Uh, more on the website, of course, dw.com. And I'll be back at the top of the hour. Have yourself a good day.